Hey guys, Baseball435 here, and I'm back with the uh, next Java game tutorial, finally. Um, I haven't been doing these because my computer crashed, and I had to redo everything, get all the stuff back, and um, happily, or I happily got it back. Um, but I'm going to start redoing it now. Um, I lost the pictures, but I think that I have the same exact ones that you had, or that you guys had from last time. But um, we're going to start adding in the levels, but I'm going to do something really quick. Um, let me show you what I'm going to do. Practically, when you run the game and wait for the when the enemies go up the screen uh you'll see that they just like they keep they just keep on um going they don't appear back or anything so once you destroy them the game's practically over i mean the game will never end because you can't destroy them so we're going to fix that and we're going to add it in so they go back to the top so what we're going to do is we're going to uh go up to, go up to the enemy class and add a new private uh integer we'll name it um start x and then just end it there, don't set it equal to anything. And then we're going to do start x equals x. So that won't change the x coordinate. So now we're going to check um, we'll just do we'll, just, we'll make a new function for now. Uh, public void check off screen. So now we're going to do if x is uh, hold on, whoops, I actually forgot to do something. Let me see how big the screen is. Um, the y coordinate. We're checking the y coordinate, not the x coordinate. My bad. So actually, go up to here. Instead of start y or start x, change it to start y, and then start y, and then change, then do start y equals y. Um, and then the screen is, and then the screen is 600 um, pixels or whatever uh, long, going downwards vertically. So we're going to say if y is greater than or equal to uh, we'll do 650. Actually, we'll do 600, like 80. Then we'll do y equals start y. So practically, what this is doing is it's saying if the y is uh, off the screen, we made it we made it greater than 600 because if we made it equal to 600, then the the enemy would just disappear and it'll just look really weird. Um, so it's saying if the uh, if the y coordinate is greater than six or is greater than or equal to 680. Then we're going to set the y coordinate equal to what the y coordinate was when it first started. So if we run it now, oh wait a second, <laughs> caught myself. Go to um, go back to there, and in the update method, do check off screen, and now run it. And now wait for the enemies. This one should start in the same exact position, just back up at top. Once it goes off the screen, it should come back down if we did it all right. Yep, there it is. So it came back down. The others should come back down too. Uh, yep, there we go. So that's one thing that we fixed. Um, now we're going to add in the levels. So what we have to do is we have to let me exit out. What we have to do is we have to um, check to see if all of the enemies are gone. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the game frame class and at the very bottom we're going to do public void uh, check end so what this is going to do is, and is, is we're going to check if there is no enemies left so if whoops, go back to the check end method and do if enemies dot size uh, equals equals negative one or equals equals negative one equals equals zero then we're going to increase the level. Let's do plus plus. So the level will go up once. We're going to we are going to increase the enemy count by five. So enemy count plus equals five. And then we're going to have to restart the game. So um oh wait, you know what? Hold on a second. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually just remove this because I just realized that the start game method actually just does that for us. Um, I forgot about this, by the way. Uh, what it does is it takes the enemy count, equal, it sets it equal to the level. So for level one, it's going to make it, it's going to multiply it by five, and that's going to be the number of enemies. So if we're on level two, it's going to be ten, etc. So what we have to do is we have to um, is we have to just uh, increase the level, and then we'll do uh, enemies dot 
clear. This isn't even necessary, by the way. I'm just going to do it just to be sure. Then missiles dot clear. So that is going to um, that's going to clear all the missiles from the array, and it's practically just going to restart the game. Then we're going to do start game. Now hopefully this works. I haven't tested this out yet. I haven't worked with this in a while. Uh, I know, which is pretty bad, but um, it should work correctly. I mean, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to actually we're going to before we start the game, we're going to do we're going to set up a alert that says you've won, moving on to the next level. Blah 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 blah. So we're going to do J option pain dot pain dot show show message dialog, and then we're just going to enter a message into there. Uh, uh, good work. You have completed level. Then we're going to add in the level. Uh, minus one because we increase it up there. Uh, you've completed level whatever. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Dot dot dot. So what this is doing is it's practically what the J option pane is. Uh, does this work? Yes. Okay, so practically what the uh sorry. One second. I'll explain this. What what this is is it the J option pane is just a class that comes with the Java API. Um the show message dialog is a function, and then that function takes two parameters. The first one is the um the the reference window, so practically it'll go over wherever another window is, but if we just set it to null, it's just gonna pop up in the center. And that's what we want. Um, and then the second parameter is the message that we want to send, so it's this right here. So we're saying, good work, you've completed level. And then what we do is we, we display the level minus one. And it's the reason we're subtracting uh, one from the level is because we increase it up here. So if we were on level one and we just beat it and we didn't subtract one, it would say, uh, good job, good work, you've completed level two, which we haven't. So we have to subtract one. And then once we click OK, then it's going to move on to start game. So it doesn't just... Uh, show this and then automatically go to this you have to wait it wait it waits for uh you to click on click on okay so now we're going to go into the update method uh or the update we're going to go into the um action performed and then we're going to do check end now hopefully this all works try start really quick all these guys and this should be the last one right there we go all right good work you've completed level one let's move on to the next one there we go reset it all now there should be ten let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yes there we go so now this is practically the game guys I'm gonna be honest like this is it uh, we're gonna make it look pretty after this really uh, we're not gonna be able to do this with the missiles or anything because that just looks ridiculous. Oh, by the way, I, just moved, I moved on to level 15 or er, three, so now there should be 15, and you can clearly see that it's increasing. Um, uh, the only thing we have to do is we have to add some boundaries to the player because uh, you can go off the screen. But um, there we go. You, you, good work. You've completed level three. Let's move on to the next one. Now we're on level four, so there should be 20. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yep, and we lost. <laughs> uh, so practically, that's the game. Um, now we're going to make uh, we're gonna make it so that when you lose, when you die, it's actually going to show a message box saying you've lost in level whatever. So go into the player uh, class and go to check collisions. That's the function where we check if the enemy uh, intersects the uh, player. So we're going to do another J option pane. So actually just move that down the line. J option pane dot show message dialog. Whoopsie. Dialog. Uh, null again. Uh, and then the message we're going to say is you have successfully wait, you've su you successfully died. Alright, you have died on oh crap, we're going to have to be able to get the level. Um, let's make, a f we'll just set this to static. So go up to the uh, level and just set this to static. Uh, INT, static INT uh, level. Make sure it's just public, by the way. Um, so we need to, you've, you've died on a uh, plus uh, game frame dot level. 
plus try harder next time. So you can set that whatever you want. It really, it really doesn't matter. You don't have to have all this in here. But um, we have to import this. Um, all right. So now let's run that. Just see if this works. All good. Run into me. Boom. You've died on one. <laughs> so we have to add in level. Try harder next time, but uh, I'm not going to re-show you that because it's kind of explanatory. You just add in level right here, and it should show up. How much time do I have left? I'm on ten minutes. Um, how will we add in the background really quick? That's not too hard. I'll take like two seconds. Um, go back to the game frame class. Go down to, uh, where is it? Graphics. Go to the paint method. And then... You're going to go to the very top. Doesn't really matter, I don't think. But we're going to do g2d dot draw image. Uh, actually, <laughs> all right. Hold on one second. Before we do that, just leave that there. We're going to do image icon ic equals new image icon, and then we are going to navigate to our C drive, uh, YouTube images, and then uh, I have a background. Background, background .png. Uh Let's show you that really quick. So C drive, YouTube images, and then here is background .png. Uh, I actually have to edit that. It's not going to reach whole screen. Whoops. Um, hold on a second. Let me add in this. Um, all right. So now uh, let's import this. Uh, so now we are going to do. Uh, for the parameters, we're going to do ic dot get image, comma zero comma zero comma, comma null. I'm, I'm going to explain this right now. Um, practically, what this is doing is it's getting the image from the icon, and then it's going to draw it at the very top left corner of the screen. So it's going to start at the top left, and then it's going to set um, it relative to null, the uh, observer to null. So now, if we run it, it, should show that if I did it correctly. Yes. So as you can see, it doesn't really reach the whole screen, which is kind of a fail. But um, the reason it's not reaching it is because it is uh, 500 by 500, 500 by 500 pixel uh, image when our screen is 500 by 600. So if we change this to 500, you don't have to do this by the way. But if we change that to 500 and we move our person up a little bit, we moved him to 480, 470. Then we run it. It should cover the whole screen now. <laughs> Our player didn't even show up. Whoops. But um, yeah, you get the point. I mean, um, I need 480, 470. Where is it? You guys, you guys want to do this? I mean, I'm gonna change it right back. Uh, probably shouldn't do it actually. We'll do uh, 440. Um, now if we run it, now if we run it, there's your player and it covers the whole screen. And then if we exit out, um, yeah, that's practically it. So uh, I'll be out with my next tutorial soon. Um, I'm going to be doing some of the uh, better-looking graphics and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.